Stop. Welcome back to the eBay shed. Minnie, say hi. Minnie. Good girl. All right. So today was kind of a bust uh, at first. A pretty big bust, to be honest. There was not much going on as far as yard sales go. Uh, but then the last, the l actual last stop that we went to that we just saw a sign for, wasn't in the paper or whatever. Uh, I got one of those elusives. Like I was already paying for something. I found a box of the vintage uh, Christmas Village sets that I, I sell, I've sold quite a few sets and done pretty good on them. And I got a whole box full of that stuff for seven bucks, which was cool, better than anything else I had already got for the morning. Here's some of the stuff I got. I guess I can show a little bit. This vintage flashlight. Okay, here's a story here too. Oh, phone. Here, can you mute that please, camera assistant? Uh, so I got this vintage flashlight, which I saw sold for 25 bucks. So I'll have to test, make sure it's good and everything. Um, but I got this for $2, uh, just pretty cool style and everything. I'm gonna have to clean it up and all that, but no big deal. And then some, uh, I always pick up the weird, um, horror, scary, sci-fi VHS. Um, but the VHS remind me at this sale where I got this, she had a Sony Walkman CD player and a Sony Walkman tape player. Uh, that would have been pretty decent resell, but she wanted 10 bucks a piece for him. Like most I was willing to spend was like $10 for the pair and she wouldn't come down on anything. She could barely talk. Her health clearly wasn't all there and her mental health either. So I wasn't too aggressive on the negotiating with her, but <laughs> the crazy part about her sale, I was looking through VHS tapes, not these, I would have never paid. Uh, but I was looking through VHS tapes and I was like, how much you want for your VHS? And she said, $4. And I about had a heart attack. I was like, for the box? And she was like, oh, you're looking through that four dollars. And then she was like, oh, three. Like she changed her mind to like, oh, I'll take three dollars per VHS. It made no sense. She had a box of Blu-ray videos and some of the Blu-rays were marked for two dollars. So I don't know. She was, it was one of those things. So anyways, I got a flashlight and that was about it. Anyways, so back to... Uh, this so i was paying for the christmas village and i was like hey do you guys happen to have any i i try to ask at every sale if i can remember to do you have any video games or electronics and they were like actually i think we have some video games that never got put out and they went to a trunk and pulled out this box and uh, he's like it's mostly ps2 games so i wasn't super excited um and he said a dollar a piece i was like well do you know what you're looking for him and he said you know a dollar a piece and obviously there's a lot in here so i at my mind i was like well i'll dig through if it's not like all playstation or if it's not all sports games maybe i'll just make an offer on the whole box and uh, i said hey what do you want for the box because i started seeing weird stuff like this dragon ball z infinite world i haven't even looked to see okay good the game's in there i haven't checked the condition of the discs either no instructions so that kind of sucks but Disc is pretty scratched up, but I can resurface it if it's not working, so that's not a big deal. This Godzilla game, my girlfriend looked up on our way out, and she said, yes, it's complete. We got the instructions in there. I'm going to have to show this to my buddy Andrew. He's going to freak out. This art is amazing. That's so cool. Um, but this is like a $25 Godzilla game, so this right here pays for the whole box. Again, got the whole box for $10. This disc is not too bad. It's got a couple scratches, uh, but it doesn't look like anything that'll be too problematic. So uh, there's some good games in here. I just figured I'd kind of show you guys real quick. Uh, you know, there's some like generics that aren't too bad. Final Fantasy X, I always get excited when I see this, and I'm pretty sure last time I looked it up, I think this one's only like a $10 game. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, I, I think it's awesome. He's got some demo discs in here, PS2 and OG PlayStation, which is cool. Shepherd's Crossing, Power Dome. Uh, we got a, who remembers that? Shrek the Third, let's go, from Blockbuster. Um, we got some, oh, TMNT, open that up and see if that's actually TMNT. Lord of the Rings, some of the Lord of the Rings games actually have some pretty decent resale value. Uh, and we do actually have the PS2 Ninja Turtles game. I believe this is the same one I had recently, and I put it in and let my boys play it to test it. And uh, it was really, it was actually a pretty good TMNT game. Gauntlet Legends, okay, not sure. So here's a, another jump pack. Seeing these old demo discs is pretty cool. Um, we got NBA Live 2003 on GameCube. Yeehaw, that's not gonna be worth anything. Beast Wars Transformers, that might be a good little PlayStation game. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to throw it in, in a new jewel case. Discs, not that bad. 
Then we got NASCAR Thunder 2004. That's a $50. I'm just joking. That's definitely not worth anything. Uh, Resident Evil 4. That's not bad. Ultimate Board Game Collection. Never heard of that one. SOCOM. Let's see what else we got. This is just That's the PlayStation 2 game. Oh, no. NCAA Football 09. Uh, Thrillville. Okay. We got some loose games in here. What do we got? Test Drive. Um, Obscure. Obscure the Aftermath. Never heard of that one. I get excited when I see games like this because sometimes it's the weird stuff that you've never heard of that's worth big bucks or at least, you know, not, not a waste. You know, some of the common games, by the time you list it and pay shipping, you're not really making anything. He's got a bunch of demo discs in here, which is cool because I can likely just lot those up and sell them all together. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. That might be de decent. I don't know. Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Might be decent as well. Some some sports games. And then Naruto Ultimate Ninja. Didn't I already put a Naruto game over there? I think something. What was that very... What was, there was one right on top, wasn't there? Am I crazy? I might be crazy. Mm -hmm. But that Naruto game might be worth some... Oh, Namco Museum. I had this game. I, I remember this. I had... Oh, it's got Galaxian on it. And Pac-Man... Or Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galaxian. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. I mean, choice of games wise, I don't know. Value. Another NASCAR Thunder. What's this? We got some Windows crap. We'll throw that away probably. Harry Potter. I know some of the Harry Potter games have pretty decent resale. Uh, what is that? Spiderwick? The Spiderwick Chronicles? Never heard of that. Stuart Little 3. We got a blank one here. Let's see what we got inside. Wah, wah, Smackdown 2007. Uh, right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, Atlantis Square Pant. SpongeBob's Atlantis Square Pant? What? Never heard of that one. No instructions. Game's there, so that's cool. Might be worth a little bit. Jeep Thrills. Cabela's African Safari and Outdoor Adventures. That's not going to be worth anything. Another Transformers game. Another... Oh, I love seeing these old demo discs. It's so cool. Instructions for a demo disc. Monsters, Inc. Oh, that's on GameCube. Hmm. Not sure about that one. This one's stolen. Wait, it... Is there a... Okay, that's a game called Stolen. I didn't know if they just stole it. Uh, Tetris Worlds and another Naruto game. So a couple... Couple Naruto games in here. Hopefully they're obsolete, or not obsolete, but uh, rare and uh, worth some money. We will just have to see. So that's what that is. And then I bought out uh, an entire eBay seller's inventory. And some of this stuff is already mixed in with stuff that I bought. Oh, my battery's gonna die. We'll see how long it's gonna last. So, fun story. I actually had a buddy uh, whose name is John. Shout out to John. God, look at all this stuff. I've got so much, but I just keep buying as much as I possibly can to hopefully supplement the winter months. Um, but I had a buddy, John, who was paying attention to what I was doing and he was really intrigued and started asking me a bunch of questions. This is some of the stuff that I got from him. Most of these boxes are stuff from him. I got an entire truckload from him. All right, we got the new battery in. So one of the things that was in the big group of uh, the whole truckload of stuff that I got from him was all these Disney buttons, uh, promotional movie pins. I don't know if somebody owned like a video store is what I'm assuming. And that's where all these came from. I mean, this is like old school stuff, you know, uh, Santa, the original Santa Claus, Babe and Gordy, you know, Honey, I Shrunk Our, uh, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, Mighty Joe Young. Um, there's even, I've got a lot of them put away already. Bugs Life, Toy Story. These are so cool. Toy Story, the video game. I've got two of those. Um, so all this stuff, and like I said, a lot of the good ones are already put away. There was like Space Jam and some stuff. All this stuff over here too, like random stuff, like Green Bay Packers steering wheel cover, some boxing gloves, a flight stick, this weird Disney ball. Anyways, so I had this buddy John, and he was uh, very intrigued of what I was doing, and I was sharing the numbers with my friends and how well the eBay business was going, and he wanted to get in on it too. And so I kind of took him under my wing, and I was like, man, yeah, you know, if you're looking for just some side gig money, like let's... You know, I'll show you how to do this. And I started explaining him, you know, the, the whole business and really kind of walked him through it all. There's a mosquito flying around me and I'm going to lose my mind. Um, I even took him yard sailing with me on my route 
and uh, he found a game. He picked up a game right before I did, and it was Prince of Persia on PC. It was actually still on floppy disks in the box. And he's like, would you, it had a dollar on it. He's like, would you get, would you pick this up? And I'm like, keep in mind, this is like his first weekend out. And I was like, yes, definitely for a dollar, like take a chance on it. Turns out the game was worth like $150. He sold it like the next day or within the same week or something like that. And from then on, he was hooked. And we went yard selling together a few times and everything. And, you know, I was just helping him out on how to get a, how to get a thermal printer and get started with shipping and all that stuff. And, um, you know, I took him under my wing and he was doing it and he had some sales and all that. And then things kind of slowed down for him. And I think, you know, just with uh, the whole lockdown and all that stuff and everything, for whatever reason, he just was looking to get out of it. And uh, I was like, well, I'll buy your inventory, man. And he gave me a pretty good friend price on it. Like I said, the whole back of his truck was full of stuff. And I bought everything that he had for 150 bucks. Um, you know, and these are kind of things that don't, so here's some Lion King ones. I just love seeing that old stuff. Um, you know, this is the kind of stuff that's gonna sit for a long, long time. But one of the reasons I was interested in that is all these old vintage pens that you guys probably already know of that I have. You know, those do sell. They sell from time to time, and they're not huge money earners or anything like that, but um, it's stuff that'll sell eventually, right? And some of the other stuff might sell quicker. And, uh, you know, it's also just a friend, so I understand, like, he wants out of it, he needs the cash and the stuff gone. I'm gonna help him out, I get some inventory, and, uh, you know, hopefully I'll make my money back. He had a couple VCRs and stuff that are over there, so hopefully those will do well for me. And uh, yeah, but that's my first experience with that. I watch a lot of the, you know, eBay resellers and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, everybody, not everybody I watch, but I've seen a few videos where it's like, oh, I bought out an entire eBay seller's inventory. And I always see that and I'm like, man, I'd love to buy out an entire eBay seller's inventory one day. And now I have. Now, granted, it was my own friend who had been doing it probably, yeah, less than a year, uh, you know, so it wasn't the most stuff, but it was a little bit of stuff, you know, it was a little bit of stuff to get it, to get it going, to help me get some inventory, you know, pre-winter when all the sales die down and all that good stuff. So that's what's going on, guys. Just wanted to show you a pretty bad day. Today's Friday. So we're hoping there'll be more listings for tomorrow and that, you know, we'll have a better, a little bit better luck, you know, maybe some more sales, some more fines. But uh, today was just pretty much a bust. There just wasn't very many sales. And the ones we went to, like most of them we walked away from with nothing, you know, or like one thing that we weren't even that happy with, you know, so hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit a little bit better we'll just have to see trying to buy as much i'm just buy 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 is what i'm focusing on right now because before you know it all the sales are going to be completely done with and then i'm not going to have anything but thrift stores and antique stores to dig through and those are a lot harder to find good stuff usually so we will see that's what's going on had a decent find today got a big old box of playstation games for 10 bucks we'll see how that pans out bought out an entire ebay seller's inventory and i hope you guys are enjoying these videos uh, I'm having fun making them. Hopefully I can keep up with the what's sold. You know, I try to do two videos a week, one like this and what's sold once a week. So two videos a week. Uh, I hope you guys are keeping up. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Make sure you keep slapping the like button, leaving comments, all that stuff. And if you're interested in any of the stuff you're seeing in this video, chances are it's already listed. The links to my stores are down below. I'm trying to get everything off of the Hova Games account. In fact, if you go over there, the entire inventory is 30, no, 40% off right now. I think the entire Hova Games inventory is 40% off because I'm trying to get rid of all those listings, trying to sell all the inventory and focus on one account. So that's what's going on there. Um, but the other account, the Hova Flips, that's my new account that I've only had for just over a year now, but I've been killing it. You know, I've already got over $60,000 in sales on my Hova Flips account not including, you know, the Hova Games account and all that stuff. So I've been doing really good and I've been really happy with it. But you guys can go over there. You can follow me or like me. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but if you click on the links in the description, you'll see there's like basically a way to watch me, I, I, you know, like subscribe on YouTube. And how that works is you'll get an email, I believe once a week, like every Monday, you'll get an email and it'll say uh, new listings from your saved sellers. So it's nice because it's not too spammy. It's not like a daily thing or every time I list something. It's just once a week, hey, here's everything that Hova listed on his eBay account in the past seven days, which is pretty nice way for you guys to keep up with my inventory. Also, while you're at there, if you click on like this, if you click um, all sellers items 
or something like that. I don't remember exactly how it's worded, but basically you can click on everything that I've got listed. It'll show you my entire inventory. Once you click on that, the regular search bar at the top of the eBay page looks like the normal search bar that's at the top of the eBay page that would just search the entire site. Once you've clicked on all my items though, it doesn't search the entire site anymore. It searches just my inventory. So once you click on that, I have people ask me all the time, hey, you got any Star Wars stuff? You got any NASCAR stuff? You got any Dale Earnhardt stuff? Just click on seller's items, all seller's items or whatever. Click in the search bar, search Star Wars. Everything that I have listed that's Star Wars related will then pop up. All right, so that's the best way to find out what I've got and get your hands on it. I've got good prices on all my stuff. Like the way I, the way I structure my eBay is, you know, I pull in this PlayStation 2 iToy, sealed, brand new, right? I search PlayStation 2 iToy, sealed. I check what's selling, I check what's listed. If people have these listed for $40, I'll come in just underneath them, 35 bucks, right? Now I'm not saying that it's always gonna be the cheapest, but I tried my best to keep it cheap so that it sells, okay? So I do have good prices, and if you guys wanna check me out, Christmas is coming up, you got a lot of people to shop for, I got you, okay? I'm a one-stop shop. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I love you guys, thanks for stopping by the video. Hope you already left a comment and a like. Really? You got, you got spider webs on your head, dummy. What'd you do? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video.